Today we're gonna go over a couple different uh, products that we sell. We have the SWAT T tourniquet and S Mark Bandage. Hey guys, I'm JT. And I'm Christina. And we're with Refuge Medical. Today we're gonna go over a couple different uh, products that we sell. We have the SWAT T tourniquet and S Mark Bandage. A couple of different differences between the two is um, the S Mark is thinner and a little bit shorter. This is about two and a half feet long, and this is about five feet long and it's thicker. I like these. One of the benefits is you can store about twice as many of them. And we're gonna go over the application of them. So you're gonna open up your package. It has the directions on the outside of the SWAT T, and then also on the actual product itself, it has the directions. And SWAT T stands for st Stretch, Wrap, and Tuck Tourniquet. It has the directions right on here, and if you look at the grid, it actually has it to where when you stretch it, the diamonds turn into squares, and then that's how you know you have enough arterial pressure to stop bleeding on like a child or you couldn't use a regular tourniquet. Christina is playing our child today, so put your arm out, please. So if you got a bleed here, arterial bleed, you're gonna wrap it, and the first wrap is going to be for friction because this is a friction-based tourniquet. First one around, and then once you're around once, then you can start stretching and wrapping. And you're just gonna keep going on around. And this is five feet long, and if you're on a smaller child, you don't necessarily need all five feet. And if you're, you're reacting to multiple casualties, there's nothing to say you couldn't cut this and then move on to your next casualty. So, but we're just gonna wrap it all the way around. Feel it. Yeah. And one thing to keep in mind whenever you're putting this on, you want to keep it wider so you don't get any kind of uh, the chance of nerve damage goes up whenever you go thin. So keep it nice and flat. And then when you get close to the end, you're going to do the tuck part. So just fish that on through. And there it is. Once you've done that, you're going to check for a pulse. You do the traditional way. One thing I like to do is carry a, have an EDC pulse ox, which you can pick up in our store. Makes it easier under stress to figure out if it worked or not. S Mark is basically the same process. It just doesn't have the instructions written on it. So uh, you're gonna do the same thing, stretch, wrap, and tuck. One other thing you can do with these is you can use them as an improvised ETD, emergency trauma dressing. So instead of wrapping really tight like we did, you would just put your gauze pad on the wound and then directly over the wound wrap it gently to hold pressure and hold that gauze pad in place. And just another, another function of these. 